Yeah, What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Ant. I got the lovely Julie. We are going out to lunch. Just doing a quick lunch vlog to talk to you guys, see where you at, what's going on with y'all. Just enjoying life right now. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day right now, ain't it, babe? Mm -hmm. Got my baby. She look. Look at her. Looking flawless. Don't you look like butter bean ice cream? <laughs> looking good. So we're about to go get some. Where are we going? good question very good question what are you in the mood for? new is coming so i am in the mood for food and I, this is going to be a back and forth type thing and we're just going to ride down the strip and we're just going to go eeny meeny miny that's what we're eating that's what we're doing what are you in the mood for today i i think i want pjs i think i want buffalo right. chicken dip pjs it is we're going to pjs I always mess up the uh the last name i'll call it willa hams it's not willa hams it's not willa hams willa hams yeah it's not look kids are in school yeah that's what they need to be in school. Yeah, so I think I'm in the mood for PJ Williams. They have yep. a mixture of like everything. So mm -hmm. um, it's not like it's like bar food, but yeah. like it's I, I've never had a bad meal there. No, I love PJs. But here's the best thing about today. She had her doctor's visit today. We are going to put ultrasound pictures in this video. Yeah. Our baby girl, 19 weeks strong. So let's check out these pictures real quick. We're gonna show you guys a side profile. We're gonna show her the little legs and little arms. But they didn't get her arms because she was so active. You gonna tell them what, what happened today at the doctors? Yeah, so, well first let's go back to week 11. Um, I had my first ultrasound just to kind of see. And they actually said they don't usually do ultrasounds then. Mm -hmm. um, they usually do them uh, you know, when I'm further along, week 20 is usually the first one, but they wanted to do it because, um, the heart rate was like so high and she was just like, not high, so high. It was healthy high, um, 169. So she was like, look, can you care if I do a ultrasound? And I was like, no. And she said, usually we don't do this because I think I told the story before. Usually we don't do this because, um, because it's your early, but they had a student in there too. They yeah. always have students with them. Yeah. Uh, so I was like, okay. So they did it, and the baby was literally bouncing from one side to the other. So it was so funny. Um, but so this one, I was super excited for to see if the baby was still going to be that active, and it was. So the nurse was there, and she, um, the baby was in a really good position, and she got it right away. It's so funny because like every time the camera's on the baby, mm -hmm. I feel like the baby knows. And it just like starts going crazy. It's my girl. So, um. The doctor was like, she's never seen a baby that active. Yeah. And that like, you know, that soon into the pregnancy, that early into the pregnancy, 11 weeks, the baby was bouncing. Mm -hmm. Literally, she said the baby was bouncing. And today, the same thing. How same long did it take? How long did it take for them to get a picture of the right arm? 20 minutes to get pictures of the arms because every time the camera would go up to like, she would put the, the hand up to her mouth the baby would pull it away mm -hmm. and then come back so she couldn't get a hand so the nurse was like jesus i can't get a picture of this arm it's moving like crazy yep. and um she was like i'm sorry she was like pressing my stomach trying to get it to stay still mm -hmm. wouldn't wouldn't do anything the baby was sticking um, and moving in there like this so yeah sticking so, and moving so she was saying how active the baby is she's like this is one active baby and she asked me like what i ate and i no kind of sugar or anything like that i've been eating pretty healthy um so we decided, Anthony and I, that the baby's gonna go to the grandma's house. So. Yes. So mom, baby's coming to your house, and Gina, the baby is coming to your house because this baby's gonna be active. Baby's gonna come out like this. Yeah, way too time. hyper. Way too hyper. And we're not about that life all the time. No. We're getting older, you know, mm -hmm. starting to, you know. We need our sleep. Need our sleep. We really do. So we never got a chance to tell these guys the name that we came up with the baby. So this is something really pretty cool. So let's tell them the name and then we can spell it out how it's going to be. So we came up with a name. We got the name locked in. Tell them the name. Okay. So um, my best friend Gina actually um, said the name. And mm -hmm. I was like, I love it. And then I said it in front of you. And you were like, I love it. So we were like, yes, that's it. Yep. So the baby's name is Miliana. Mm -hmm. um, Grace is the middle name. Yep. And then Jones. And Jones, yeah. So, Miliana Grace Jones. So Grace, my mom fell in love with the middle name Grace. Mm -hmm. We Love hear it every single day. And the nickname that she gave the baby already, we hear it 20 times a We're day. We're not going to say it right We're now. We're not going to say it because if I do say it, I'm probably, it's going to be stuck in there. Mm -hmm. she, she said it today like 15 times. We're going to, I'm sure that she'll be on one of these videos and she'll say it. But yeah. She's got the nickname. She got the Just nickname down. Imagine Grace with a nickname, okay? Yeah. 
Yeah, this mad. Yeah, let's keep it like that. Let's just keep it at that. So we're excited because we got the name together. Um, now this is something she's really going to kill me about. But um, so well, we I already some, know what you're going to yeah, talk about. Yeah. So she's been going nuts about this baby room since she found out she was pregnant. Now let me tell you how much of a lunatic she is. I love her to death. Let me tell you. So when we found out she was pregnant, she's like, "All right, we got we got to start decorating the baby room." I'm like, "Babe, you're not even two days pregnant yet. What do you mean decorate it?" She was on she was on the website. We went to IKEA. We're looking up beds and bunk beds and you name it. I'm like, "Babe, we're not even you didn't have a baby shower yet." So she's so excited that she's just you know, it's nuts. So we're gonna start decorating the baby room soon. And we're gonna wait a little bit. I recommend that we wait until you know close to the baby shower and then whatever. Oh, I, I say we get like, you know, we can get a few things like yeah. curtains and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And if you want to, you know, keep it neutral as far as like the walls. Keep yeah, everything. I don't want to paint or anything Yeah, like keep that. everything like that and then mm -hmm. go from there. But yeah, we're excited. So we're, um, we're heading to lunch just to discuss some things that we're going to be doing as um, far as the baby. A lot of appointments coming up. We've been, she's been through a, a lot of appointments. And another thing we want to talk to you guys about too, because I made a post about Facebook, and I want you guys to understand. Um, we're praying for everyone out there that's going through this. Uh, it's a trying time, meaning that, the, you know, her going to these doctor's appointments by herself. There's a lot of people that's experiencing this stuff, and it's, it's yeah. kind of sad. It's yeah, really sad. It, it is sad. So like, uh, we found out yesterday. They called to confirm my appointment. I answered the phone that Anthony couldn't come, and they've been telling me the whole time that Anthony could come. And it was like they kept on referring to this like as a big ultrasound appointment. And I was like, well, you know, what the heck? What happens if they tell me something bad? Yeah. You know, your mind doesn't want to go there, but it does go there. Mm -hmm. Um. So. You know what happens if that happens and i'm there by myself like how do i handle that and then like you know just different things like that were going through my mind and it was just like you know but when anthony made that post on facebook i know we're not the only ones that are going through it um and but it, it felt i say this nice i it felt good that you know that there were other people that are like yeah we're in the same position yeah. you know we're same position um because i know there's other i would knew i wasn't being picked on yeah um but it was just, you know, so it felt good to hear, like, you know, how we're in this, everybody's in the Everybody kind of together. in together that's having a baby and that, you know, it's a big deal. Your life's changing and you're going to have a, hopefully a healthy baby and everything like that. And, you know, that we'll get through this pandemic and everything together. Yeah. So our prayers go out to everyone. We didn't get a chance to comment on every single post because there was like 80 people who commented. Yeah. And we appreciate it. Really appreciate sure. it. But um, our prayers go out to everyone that's affected by this. Um, especially for her going by herself um, and at the time she was feeling like she was alone in this now she knows that there's a lot of other people that are going through this it kind of gives her a little bit you know a little bit more um, you yeah because I was really upset um, and then you know they have these places that people commented on that you can bring people to it's like an imaging place where mm -hmm. you can bring people to they do a video and things like that so i appreciate that so much because i didn't know those things as this yeah. this is my first thing going through time going through all this so any advice is good advice and i appreciate that yeah um so anthony and i were talking about going to we're definitely going to do that yeah. probably when i get further along like week 19 week 20s um i, I was able to see some things but not all like the features and mm -hmm. i want to see more um, so we're going to do that and then hopefully we can bring his mom and Gina and things like that. Yeah. So. Week 30, we're planning on doing that around week 30. They said it's best to yeah. you see the features. They call it the chubby cheek feature <laughs> where you actually see the cheeks and all that the structure and stuff. But it's crazy. I was telling the nurse this today. It's crazy how fast this felt like it was going. And I'm like, every month it's like, oh, another appointment, another appointment. And I'm like, I felt like I was just here and I just can't believe how quick the Days months are going by. I need to slow down a little bit because I feel like I'm not like gripping reality. Honestly, so. it, yeah, honestly, it feels like she's been pregnant for like four weeks. <laughs> I know. Like, like seriously, it feels like we just found out she's pregnant and she's already halfway there. How is that possible? I don't know, but this week I've been feeling like extra emotional. I feel like all I want to do is cry. No. I do. I, I feel like I cry over everything and anything. Um, then stupid stuff too, like things that I think about. I feel like I just want to cry. It's not stupid stuff. It is. 
It's just a lot of stuff going on in your body, that's all. Well, yeah, but I just feel very emotional. I know, and it's okay, I'm here for you, right? And so, then last night I woke up with heartburn again. Yeah, she's been having a lot of heartburn, so this baby better have some, some long hair don't care. Mm -hmm. that's better have say. some good hair, because I do not have good hair. So, yeah, speaking of hair, I'm glad you brought that up, it's the funniest thing ever. So, so as you guys know. If anybody has any tips. <laughs> yeah, so if you guys know, you know, um, we're in a racial couple, if you just don't know. Yeah, this, if you don't know this, that. This is not a filter. So this I'm is, actually white. Yeah, she's white. Even though she looks Cherokee, she's white. So, so one day I was, one day I was coming home from work and she, she goes on these, these tangents. It's funny. It's the funniest thing ever. I walk in and I hear like, you know, YouTube playing. She watches YouTube a lot. And... I look on the screen and she is, <laughs> she's looking up how to um, do hair, interracial hair. So she was learning how to do braids. <laughs> so let me tell you something, first of all. Um, I am not good at doing my own hair. I don't know how, I'm not good with a curling iron. I'm not good with, I, I didn't start curling my hair until I was in my 20s. Like, it's just not something that I was good at. I didn't grow up around it. Yeah. So it was not something that I had focus on. I usually just blow dry my hair, blow dried my hair, or I'd straighten it because that's yeah. like, but I really didn't do it. So I'm like, oh man, I'm gonna have a girl and I'm gonna have to do her hair. One. Yeah. Two, I don't know the texture of the hair. Yeah. And that's what I'm nervous about. Like, what products do I use that are good? I need some help. So you need some jam and some just for me. That's all it is. Listen, it's, I'm telling you, your hair, you have good hair. I don't. You, yes, you do. You have good hair. I have very thin hair. Very, I, I have a lot of hair. Like, mm -hmm. it grows, but it's very, very thin. Mm -hmm. Um, So it's not... It's not anything yeah, you, great. You have good hair, and trust me, the, the baby's hair is going to be like, I got a feeling it's going to be like kind of curly. Yeah, that scared me. Yeah, but you throw a little bit of activator and some sheen in there. I don't know what to do with curly hair. Put a little bit of gel. Put a little, put a little gel in there. I know, but is like that good to use on baby's hair? I don't know. I don't know. We can put anything doing like that, though. I'm going to tell you, I'm putting it right in the ponytail every day. Not. We we'll have a little slick back, a little ponytail right here, and get a little fade in the back. <laughs> Anthony. Hey, baby, baby. Just gonna oh put a little fade right there. So, but yeah, that's the plans that we got so far for the baby. Um, yeah, so I've been YouTubing. I was going really crazy at first with mm. like YouTubing, like ridiculous stuff. Oh, I was staying up at night thinking please, about. All please stuff. tell them some some of the things. We went to <laughs> we went to Target a few weeks ago and we bought um, the little socket protectors. That's normally for when your baby's like walking or crawling. Baby ain't even here yet. Oh, we were talking about the whole the uh, the daycare situation. No, no. So I love her to death. I just love it. She, but the thing is about Julie, you guys learned from the other video. She's a planner. She loves planning, and her life is really organized. And thank God for that because sometimes I wake up like, what am I doing today? <laughs> so this is what she did. What was you like ten weeks at the time? Ten weeks pregnant. She calls the daycare center to ask for pricing. The lady goes, Oh, how old's your baby? Oh, speaking of how old my baby is, I'm ten weeks. So you thinking 10 weeks as far as like out of the womb? No, 10 weeks in the womb. The girl said, oh, we'll give you a call back. We haven't heard back since. <laughs> that was 10 weeks ago. <laughs> so, so we're already looking for daycare centers. And we're probably looking for colleges. I, so the reason why, okay, so this is the thing about me, right? Mm -hmm. I do like to plan. She does. And I do like to be organized and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But I get like obsessive with it and then I stress myself out which is stupid because it's like I'm only week 10 and I'm calling about this stuff and I'm like having this whole to-do list and it's like I shouldn't even have this to-do list yet and I have a deadline for it and I'm yeah. like why um but you know what that it, that's a good thing too though so you can't really fault that sometimes you do go a little more but it is a good thing yeah so i uh called the place and i just wanted to see what like you know how much money i should possibly put away, away a week just to make sure everything's yeah. good yeah which is smart i can't fault her for that but listen guys we just pulled up to lunch we have pjs little hands better go eat thank you guys so much be sure to subscribe hit the post notification bell we love y'all. Ooh, a drink's on too. I'm gonna eat, eat mine. Eat yours.